Rami Skattens. Ravi Rai of Scotland is the third person in the ring. He'll be the referee for this one. Round one. So we're underway then. 54 kilogram bantamweight division, and this one is between boxers from India and Uzbekistan. The Indian boxer is the woman wearing blue. And it's a quick start by both boxers, just falling short of the range. And that final coming together, but it's a nicely picked punch by the boxer from Uzbekistan wearing red. That is Nagina Uktamova. Uktamova, 17 years of age. Beautiful punch picking off the back foot by Arshi Kanam. <laughs> left jab landed by Uktamova. Trying to deter the woman in blue from coming forward. She lands with a good left right once again. Look at Uktamova try and work away on the inside as the boxers are mauling one another. Really committed to these shots that she's launching, and a left hand crashes into the head of Uktamova from Kanam. That left hand was long, and it's landing indeed with the wrist and the forearm. Ravi Rai perfectly placed to point out that illegal blow. Nice left jab landed to the body by Uktamova. Double left jab for the second one, score, and look at that for a quick-fisted combination from the woman in red. And again, she's trying to work away with that free left hand. Kanam had her right arm tucked beneath her own left. Veteran tactics being employed by the 18-year-old on the Indian squad. Beautiful single shot. And again, it was a two-shot combination by Tamava running Kanam onto these punches. But Kanam simply will not be denied and continues to pour forward. But keeping her cool in the pocket is Uktamova. And despite the figure of Kanam marching towards her, look at how she's able to pick her off. Terrific piercing of the guard once again by Uktamova. Just playing with her hands now. Caught by a flashing, looping left, right, but again punching incorrectly from Kanam. She's been spoken to twice about that particular infringement as the boxers come together and take part in an exchange. Beautiful reverse one-two landed by Uktamova. This time it was Uktamova land, guilty of landing with the inside of the glove, jab to the head, then work to the body before coming back up to the head from Uktamova. So closing seconds of the first round and what a busy opening three minutes it has been. One, two, success once more from Uktamova. He's bustling away with punches beneath the elbows of the woman in blue to work the body. Uktamova onto the front foot to end the round and as the two boxes came together, there was a little uppercut landed by the woman in red as the bell sounded. Terrific opening round. Well, I think Uktamova can consider herself rather unfortunate there because there was no doubt that it was Kanam looking to be the aggressor. But I thought the punch picking of the woman in red was quality. But we've got judges seated all around the ring here. 
five of them scoring this contest and all of them have scored in favor of the work of Kanam. Her regression paying dividends. She leads in unanimous fashion after three minutes are in the book. Second out, please. Round two. So Tamava comes in as the reigning national champion of Uzbekistan and a continental champion as well, off her stool and scoring with straight punches. Again, neutralizing the aggression for my money of Kanam, who's continuing to swarm and maraud forward, but he's being made to pay a heavy price. Kanam lands with a good right hand that backs up the woman in red. Good use of the feet, and it's another exchange, but look at Uptamava worked the body. There was a good shot upstairs landed by Kanam. Terrific exchanges, flashing left hook landed by Kanam, who was on the back foot for one of the few times in this contest just a few moments ago. Comes forward once again, but he's walked into a right hand once more during the course of that exchange. Hook Tamava looking to work the body. Kanam with her left hook success around the corner. <laughs> While she faked, fainted with the right hand, and while it was looping around the corner, Tamava scored with a right hand as she did once again. Uktamava with a solid right cross. It's countered by a left jab from Kanan. The give and take action continues with a minute gone in the second round. Piercing the guard with a left right combination is Uktamava. Again, look at the activity to the body from Uktamava. Just working away with a flurry of shoe shine shots and she drops downstairs with a terrific left hand once again. Corkscrew left and right hand, piercing the defences, and then a clean shot without reply from the left hook, followed by a right cross from Uktamava. Beyond the midpoint of the second round, remember the first round was scored against the... Oh, and down goes Kanan, but it's ruled a slip. I think the feet did get tangled up. But a cuffing shot seemed to land from Uktamava as well. Oh, this coming at an inopportune time from Uktamava's point of view. Adjustments required to the belt line. Of course, that has to be visible so the referee and the judges can see whether the shot is fair or foul. But having got that extra oxygen in their lungs, look at the start from both boxers on the resumption. Kanan with a terrific successful flurry. During that first exchange and a strong right hand again jolts Uktamava's head back. Exchange of solid shots. There's Kanam enjoying a really good portion of the round. Uktamava trying to drive her backwards, getting onto the front foot. So the non stop action continues and it's high quality as well. Boxers taking a trip to the canvas. Remember, if anything other than the feet touches the canvas, well, a punch sends you there, it's a knockdown. Again, both boxers letting their hands go at short and mid range. Reverse one, two, landed by Tamava, and how about that for a corkscrew left just before the belt from the woman in red. She snaked it upwards and jolted Kanam's head back, and she has taken the second round for four of the five scoring judges. Judge E preferring the work of the boxer in blue. So for judges A, B, C, and D, it is all square, 19 points apiece for Judge E. It is a two-point advantage, 20 points to 18, in favor of Arshi Kanam of India. Well, what a three minutes we have in prospect here. This contest up for grabs. This woman has the momentum behind her, having taken the second round on a 4-1 split. Only Judge E preferring the work of Kanam.
but that means for Judge E, she leads by two points, 2018. For the other four observers, it is all square, 19 points apiece. Both of the boxers are aware of the status of this bout, and that is why they are going for it in the opening stages here of round number three. Good right hand landed by Kanam during that exchange, but look at that for a solid right cross landed by Kamava as they come together once again. Both boxers with notable successes in the opening minutes of this third round. Looping right hand around the corner lands for Uktamova. Oh, beautiful left-right combination landed by the European champion. Runs Kanam into a right jab once a right cross once again. And she did so following that as she scores downstairs effectively before coming up with a hook. Now remember, again, for my money, the five judges scored it in favor of Uktamova. But Kanam was very aggressive in the opening round. So the first round went in Kanam's favor unanimously. She was very aggressive. But Kamava was boxing effectively with counters, running her onto right hands. But remember, for aggression to be scored, it has to be considered effective aggression. We've got some problem with the binding there on the right glove. It hasn't been stopped the contest. And both boxers continue to let their hands go. But Tamava again taking the opportunity to work at close range. And she scores with shots to the body. Left hook landed on the inside. And now... Oh, there is the binding going to be adjusted. That right glove off Tamava. Kanam sent to the neutral corner just above our commentary position. Oh, that's a beautiful right hand on the restart from Uktamova. Kanam trying to get even after she took that hard single. Uktamova made to fall short by Kanam, but Kanam couldn't score with the attempted counter. Inside the final minute of the third and final round, beautiful one-two landed by Uktamova, and then a left jab success during that coming together as well. Kanam boring in with the head as she tries to push Uktamova backwards. Uktamova looking for a right hand lead. She couldn't find the range. She's letting her hands go when the two box are on the inside. Another right hand success landed by the woman in red. And again, repeatedly running Kanam into that backhand punch. So closing stages of the third and final round. Reverse one, two landed by Uktamova. Kanam lands a right hand over the top. She sustained a cut lip. Such is the ferocity of this contest. So inside the 10 second clapper, and a right hand launched over the top by Uktamova. It was countered by a response from Kanam. A terrific contest in the 54 kilogram bantamweight division. Well, who is going to have their hand raised in this one? Plenty of aggression coming from Kanam in the third and final round. For what it's worth, I think some of the more eye-catching, cleaner work came from Uktamova, but that is irrelevant. This is going to the five scoring judges seated around the boxing ring. It was 19 points apiece for judges A, B, C and D, who will have their hand raised as the victor. Here's the verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout by split decision is a boxer from the red corner, Nigina Uktamova. And it is Nigina Uktamova who has prevailed on a 4-1 split, 29-28 across the board. But four of the judges scoring in favor of Uktamova, overturning. A first round deficit where she conceded it unanimously. She's acknowledging all sides of the ring here. A terrific display, a wonderful fight back. And Nagina Uktamova, the European champion, the national champion, prevailing over the game. Arshi Kanam.